Welcome to yet another edition of Roland Rambles. This one is going to be a little bit different because I actually need to talk to you. I need you to tell me what you think about a problem that I have with a somewhat modern, I've uh, been around for a while, but somewhat modern invention. That being those stupidly bright, really, really white headlights, like the one right behind me in my rear view mirror, uh, or my side view mirror right now, which you of course can't see. Um, but these really bright white headlights, I, I've had a major problem with them because they blast me and they absolutely blind me whenever I go by them, whenever they're behind me, um, especially at the wrong angle. Um, you know, God forbid I live in the Piedmont of North Carolina, which is very hilly, God forbid that the cars be on at, at different angles because of hills, the slightest hill, um, and then I get blasted in the face with these really directional LED headlights. And I thought the HIDs back in the day were bad, you know, the, uh, the really blue ones, but no, modern LED headlights are a scourge. They are a plague. I honestly think that they should be made illegal, um, not because I have a problem with LED technology, but as implemented, they are very directional and they provide this really compact beam that while it does give the person who is driving very good, very good light to see by, at the same time, it, it usually is so directional and powerful and is at such a high angle. And like I said, even if you're driving over a slight hill and someone's behind you or in front of you, um, if you're at different angles, you, you can end up getting absolutely blasted, even though the lights may be aimed properly. Um, half the time, they're not aimed properly. <laughs> In my experience, they tend to not be aimed properly most of the time. But uh, yeah, there you go. Look, look, at, look right behind me. You see this thing right here? This glowing ball? Yeah, and see how it's gone? Now watch what happens when the guy starts coming back in this direction. He's going to have to, oh, he is behind me. Yeah, see, you can see it right here in the camera. I don't even have to talk about it anymore. You see how it goes from just being a light to being a blast? It's like somebody's detonating a bunch of tiny nukes right behind me. That's what I'm talking about. And that's actually one of the better ones. It That one is not blasting me so hard. But these things are a problem. They are an absolute plague. Um, the reason that I'm making this video is there is a left turn that I make frequently, and when I pulled up to it, um, it, it just happens to be on a slight incline, and then the other people coming in the other direction, that puts them a little higher than my vehicle, because I'm down an incline a little bit, and the way that they're coming in, they're kind of pointing straight, and I'm at a lower level, so I get this, except worse. Well, I pulled up, and there was just like a field of these blazing headlights. It, it's astonishing just how bright they really are. Now, I have tried pretty desperately, yeah, here comes another one. Um, I've tried pretty desperately to not, and you can see it on my face. Look, look, right now. <laughs> I interrupt myself because that's incandescent. That's an LED, but that one wasn't so bad. There's an LED that's worse. Um, that one's not too bad. That one's not too bad, but they're also not pointed up at me yet because I'm actually going down a hill. Uh, now here, here's one that's coming a little bit more level, um, but that one's not quite as bright as some of them. But yeah, you can see how hard they light my face compared to the incandescent ones. Anyway, it was, it was like getting blasted with a field of lights. And I've tried to explain to myself, like just excuse the problem. I've tried to say, okay, look, dude, you're way closer to 50 than you are to 15. You are not young anymore. You're not old. I'm not old yet. <laughs> Give me 20 more years, then I'll be old. But, you know, I'm more middle-aged at this point, early middle age. Um, but I know my vision is not perfect by any means. And I know that as you age, the headlights on a vehicle typically will cause you more grief. And 
because this phenomenon exists, you know, your vision just generally degenerates slowly as you age. I know this to be true, so I don't just assume that the problem is that the headlights are actually bad. I want to find another explanation first. <clears throat> because otherwise it becomes the problem where, you know that general rule like um, in a friend group, if you have, to, if you can't um, figure out which one in your friend group is the asshole, it's probably you. Well, the same kind of things. Like if everybody else says one thing and you say a different thing, even if you're right, it still makes you start to feel like maybe you're crazy because how can all these other people not see it? And I look at these lights and I look at how some of the ones that are nice and orange, soft, white, whatever you want to call it, that go by, they don't seem all that bright, including my own. My, my car has incandescent front lights. It has LED rear lights, uh, but it has incandescent fronts. And so the soft white lights, the classic halogen bulbs, they, they aren't that bad. Look, here's another one right behind me, you know, and it's actually not hitting me in the mirror bad, but at the wrong angle, it's horrible. So I look around, I try to say I'm getting older, it must be that I'm getting older. Nobody else seems to really be complaining all that much about this around me. But I wonder if it's just that nobody complains because nobody really actively thinks about this. I think based on looking at cars going by that clearly have the same halogen type lights I have and have had in every vehicle ever since ever, I think that based on the difference between those lights and the lights that I've been seeing that have been blasting me in the face, that surely there is a big difference and it's not okay. It's not just me. These lights are dangerous. These, these cars blind the drivers coming in the other direction or even the drivers going in the same direction if you're behind them. And it, it's 10 times worse when it's like a truck and that truck is in any way lifted. If they put bigger rims or they put a lift kit anything to make the headlights even higher so that the, the down angle is actually down right into your damn face. Because, uh, you know, I drive a clown car, the risks of driving a clown car. But I, I thought about this from time to time. And one day I asked my brother because <clears throat> my oldest younger brother, he's, uh, I, I don't know, like six or seven years, whatever, um, behind me. So he's clearly significantly younger than me, but not like a young buck. He's had plenty of driving experience. Um, you know, he works with heavy machinery and he's outside all day. He drives all the time like I do. And I asked him one day, these headlights, you know, these LED headlights, are they getting worse or am I just getting old? And the look on his face, it was like somebody had just said, the thing that he needed to hear because he just dumped out his thoughts on these stupid headlights. He's like, no, oh, it's definitely worse. It's definitely a lot worse <laughs> than it ever was. Those headlights are awful. And he went off on his own tirade about how bad they are. Now, don't get me wrong. I love LED lighting in general. The only bad thing about it is the directional stuff but in general, other than uh, some of the interactions with cameras, because to dim an LED, you send it pulses of electricity, which at higher shutter speeds cause the cameras to behave weirdly. But other than the flicker issue with cameras, in general, LEDs are extremely efficient. They give directional light, which can be a good thing. And they just, I don't see any reason in general not to have white LEDs almost everywhere. These cars, I, I can't, I, I, why? What, who looked at these things? Who, what engineer stared down the barrel of a pair of LED headlights and went, this is fine. I'm okay with the events unfolding. No, it's so stupid. Come on, man. And the worst part is that nobody's gonna convert them. Like, nobody's going to change their LED headlights out for some headlights that are less horrible. Look, here, this guy. And the worst part, perhaps, I mean, there's a lot of worst parts in this video, but 
the worst part is that I'll be looking and I'll be like, God, those lights are so bright. Those headlights are so bright. They need to turn off their high beams. And I'll turn my high beams on to indicate to them my frustration with them having their beams on and blasting me in the face. Then they'll turn their high beams on. What? Why? If your low beams are high beams, what the hell do you call the high beams? Well, it, 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 at that point, do they even qualify as beams? It's like, no, I'm getting blasted by the light of Kefka from Final Fantasy 3 or 6, if whatever number you prefer. It's like, no, the, what I'm staring into is not the high beam of a car. It is the fucking Rapture. There's all these new cars that have the Rapture times two on the front of the vehicle, and I have to deal with it every time I drive at night, and sometimes when I drive in the daytime. Can you believe that there are headlights that are so directional, bright, and annoying that you can be driving during the day and they'll be so bright that I'll look in this mirror, the daytime running lights on some of these new vehicles, I have to flip my mirror to night mode to be able to withstand the bullshit. It's crazy. What is there? There you go. There you go. Another one. So there's just beacons behind me. And granted, I've turned the brightness up on my camera. You've seen how dark it is when there aren't any lights behind me. But come on. You know, and I can see this nice outline right here, too. I mean, they basically light up the entire inside of my car when they go, when they're behind me. But what am I supposed to do? Like, so I've, I've thought about this and I've tried to come up with ways that I could get people to stop blasting their LEDs at me. First of all, part of the problem is, how do you get someone to turn off their, or, or to reduce the brightness on their low beams? There's no lower brightness than the low beams on the car. Like, oh, the, the lowest headlight setting is too bright. Well, what am I supposed to do, drive blind? No, I, I don't expect that. But the problem is that they still blast me anyway. So what can I do to get revenge on these people that have these misaimed, overbright, like that douchebag right over there, headlights? And I thought of like, well, maybe I could mount a mirror in the back. You know, maybe I could have some kind of mirror on the back of my car um, that would reflect the headlights back at them to let them see what I see in their faces. But then I realized that's going to work very differently depending on whether I'm being followed by a modified Toyota Yaris. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, a, a, a Nissan, it's always a Nissan. It's the worst are always Nissans somehow. I don't know how Nissans always end up being the worst. Wait, yeah, I do, because all the broke people that can't drive for crap are the ones that buy them, because Nissan's the only people that are giving financing. But yeah, I, I, if it's a Nissan, it's one thing. Um, if it's a big old truck that's been lifted, it's a completely different thing. So yeah, I might just reflect the truck's uh, headlights back into its grill at that rate which doesn't accomplish the goal. Um, I'm not willing to put that kind of effort into coming up with a way to get revenge on people blasting me with headlights. I, I know that that is not a sentence that I thought I would ever say. And yet here we are, I have said it, uh, that that's a thing that happened. I do not apologize for any of it. I think that this headlight rant has gone on long, en long enough, but I, I think that you need to go down to the comments right now, especially if you've listened this far. And you need to tell me your thoughts on this subject because this is something that has driven me up the wall. If you know, boy, do you know, and I'm sure you have something to say about it. Tell me your experiences. Tell me what you think about these stupid headlights because I can't deal with it. And the only relief that I have is knowing that other people are suffering as much as I am. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you later.